Hi, welcome along to another video. Links to the articles are in the information section of this video. We're going to start today with a couple of book reviews. So just to read a, a bit from the last paragraph. Capitalism depends on endless growth. So does cancer. In fact, cancer is an apt metaphor for capitalism. Of course, plutocrats confronted with this comparison opt for chemotherapy, which is what Holthaus calls techno fixes like geoengineering. Another book, False Alarm by Bjorn Lomberg. A more controversial suggestion is to research geoengineering. He says these technologies should not be deployed today and hopefully they will never be needed. So the subject is being spoken about in books, magazines, and some news from 2009. Venezuela turns to cloud seeding to battle drought. So you can add Venezuela to your list of countries doing this sort of stuff. This is from the Associated Press. Hugo Chavez says he is starting to bombard clouds now that Cuba has provided Venezuela with cloud seeding help in an effort to produce rain and alleviate the effects of a severe drought. From 2010, Venezuela, recent rain and claims of cloud seeding. Venezuela has received heavy rain over the past several days. Venezuelan president has attributed the rainfall to the success of his government's cloud seeding efforts. Over to Malaysia, 5th of August 2020. So back up to date then. Penang plans cloud seeding as island's dam levels drop. Penang will conduct cloud seeding exercises, carry out eight more cloud seeding exercises. We hope that we have eight more cloud seeding exercises. So just a few mentions there. Also from Malaysia in the star, move to make rainfall over the dam. This was a couple of days later, 7th of August 2020. Over to Canada, severe storms could be a lot worse if not for these Alberta pilots. It's from August 6th, 2020. So speaking about storm damage, as we've been reporting recently over the last couple of weeks in previous videos, so highlight this bit. That's because Dr. Terry Krauss, along with his colleagues at the Alberta Hail Suppression Project, are out in the air during each thunderstorm doing what they can to mitigate the impact of those systems with cloud seeding our aircraft burn flares, etc. etc. Over to the Philippines, August the 19th, 2020. Puntabungan cloud seeding plan okayed on a general geoengineering thing, engineering the climate, the controversial science that could cool our atmosphere. This is in Geographical, 6th of August 2020. Katie Burton explores the practicalities and ethics of geoengineering, the controversial science that could quickly cool the atmosphere. Is it the large ditch climate solution that nobody wants? or our appetites for geoengineering solutions growing with our warming climate. Over to the USA, Colorado, in Colorado's climate change hotspot, the West's water is evaporating. It's from August the 7th, 2020. Anchorage Daily News. To squeeze more snow from the heavens, Grand Junction's water managers have turned to an increasingly popular strategy out West, cloud seeding. When a storm approaches, silver iodide particles are shot into the sky so they can stick to freezing water vapour and form snowflakes. Hmm. Not only are Colorado taxpayers funding this effort, Arizona, California, Nevada and New Mexico residents are spending $450,000 a year to boost the flow of the ever-shrinking Colorado River. Berlin, Germany, there is a conference May 20th, May 21st, 2021. The International Conference on Ocean Fertilization and Solar Radiation Management. So mostly about ocean fertilization and then at the end in the list there you can see solar radiation management. Also on geoengineering, climate official pushing controversial sun blocking plan resigns. Good news from the Real News Network. Stratospheric controlled Perturbation Experiment, SCOPEX, a controversial program aimed at reversing the climate crisis that we covered here several weeks ago, and yep, we covered it on this channel a few times as well, in July, suffered a recent blow after its chairwoman stepped down. The program is based at Harvard University and until July 22nd had an advisory council chaired by the director of the California Strategic Growth Council. But after coming under scrutiny both from global climate justice groups 
and in a June 19 story by the Real News Network, Bedsworth has stepped down from the post. China, 10th of August. China developed airborne sounding system helps study typhoon. The system is expected to play a role in various fields such as meteorological emergency, disaster monitoring, ecological monitoring and weather modification. Indonesia and the Borneo Bulletin from August the 11th 2020 planting crops building wells. To avoid massive fires in the province this year the provincial disaster agency has also carried out water bombings with more than 11,000 litres of water and implemented weather modification with cloud seeding using 38,400 kilograms of salt that isn't supposed to be up there. It's supposed to be where it was. Air quality matters. Climate engineering. August 10th, 2020. Messing with weather. Is that messed up or what? Maybe, maybe not. So just to confirm for air quality matters, if they're a bit unsure about that, it's a definitely no, it's a definitely not. Time for a bit of lifestyle, motoring. Sand first, we test drive the new Land Rover Defender in the Dubai desert. August the 13th, 2020. We've got to take the much anticipated 4x4 out for a proper jaunt. Excited, we were. The Defender steams along on both tarmac and sand, and probably mud though we'll have to leave that to correspondence in other parts of the world to ascertain, as even with all the cloud seeding, rain in the UAE isn't abundant at this time of year. So you can even get some mention in <laughs> motoring kind of lifestyle websites. So if we take a look at all the countries spoken about in this week's news and we put them onto a map, planet Earth looks like something like that. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, look after yourselves, see you next time.